Today, I will like to share about deeper analysis for two-sample t-test using Minitab. The two-sample t-test is a statistical test used to compare the means of two independent groups. It is used to determine if there is a significant difference between the means of the two groups. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Two sample T is the hypothesis test of the difference between two population means when samples are drawn independently from each other. When you conduct a hypothesis test using two random samples, you must choose the type of test based on whether the samples are dependent or independent. What is the difference between independent and dependent samples? Independent samples are measurements made on two different sets of items. For example, Give one group of people an active chemical substance and give a different group of people an inactive chemical substance, then compare the blood pressures between the groups. Furthermore, dependent samples are paired measurements for one set of items. For example, sample the blood pressures of the same people before and after they receive a dose. Two sample t test is used when the data of two samples are statistically independent. While the paired t-test is used when data is in the form of dependent samples. To ensure that your results are valid, consider the following guidelines when you collect data, perform the analysis, and interpret your results. The sample data should be selected randomly. If your data are not collected randomly, your results may not represent the population. Sample data must be continuous. Continuous data has an infinite number of values between any two values. Sample data are from a normally distributed population. Independent samples. Measurements for one observation do not affect measurements for any other observation. Let's take an example. You want to compare the daily sales for two different designs of web pages for your internet business. Another example is the gym trainer measured the body fat for a group of men and women who did workouts at a gym two times a week for 12 weeks. A healthcare consultant wants to compare the patient satisfaction ratings of two hospitals. The hospitals are independent samples as measurements for the first hospital does not affect measurements for the second hospital. Minitab software provides a comprehensive toolkit for statistical analysis, from hypothesis testing to predictive modeling. The researcher in charge of the new software evaluation project hopes to show that the new software package will provide a shorter mean project completion time. Normality test using Anderson Darling. Choose graph a probability plot multiple. In graph variables, enter current software new software. Click OK. The data points for current software are relatively deviate from the fitted normal distribution line. However, no highly skewed and heavy tailed distribution. The p value for current software is less than the significance level of 0.05. Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis that the data are not follow a normal distribution. Two variance test. The two-sample t-test compares the means of two populations. It is important to know whether the variances of two groups are different. The null hypothesis states that the variances of two populations are equal, while the alternative hypothesis states that they are not equal. Choose stat a basic statistics a two variances. From the drop-down list, select each sample is in its own column. In sample 1, enter current software. In sample 2, enter new software. Click OK. Based on descriptive statistics, the standard deviation for new software is higher than current software. The mean for current software is 36.313 while new software is 54.735. Minitab's two variances displays results for Levine's method and Bonnet's method. Bonnet's method is usually more powerful, so you should base your conclusions on the results for Bonnet's method, unless the following are true. Your samples have less than 20 observations each. The distribution for one or more of the populations is extremely skewed or has heavy tails. When you have small samples from very skewed, 
or heavy-tailed distributions, the type I error rate for Bonnet's method can be higher than alpha. Under these conditions, if Levine's method gives you a smaller confidence interval than Bonnet's method, then you should base your conclusions on Levine's method. In this case, we based on Bonnet's method due to, the sample size is not less than 20 for each group. No heavy skewed distribution. Confidence interval for Levine's method is wider than Bonnet's method. The p-value for Bonnet's test is 0.032 which is less than alpha 0.05. We reject null hypothesis and conclude that the variance between two groups are not equal. 2-sample t-test The test statistic for a 2-sample t-test is calculated by taking the difference in the 2-sample means and dividing it by either the pooled or unpooled estimated standard error. The null hypothesis for a 2-sample t-test is that there is no significant difference between the means of two independent groups. The alternative hypothesis can be one-sided or two-sided. Choose STAT Basic Statistics A2 Sample T. From the drop-down list, select each sample is in its own column. In Sample 1, enter current software. In Sample 2, enter new software. Click Options. Uncheck Assume Equal Variances. Based on descriptive statistics, the mean for new software is lower than current software. The null hypothesis states that the difference of completion time between the two software is zero. Because the p-value is 0.000, which is less than the significance level of 0.05, we reject the null hypothesis and concludes that the project's completion time for the two software differ. 2-sample t test is hypothesis test of the difference between two population means when samples are drawn independently from each other. Independent samples are measurements made on two different sets of items. Bonnet's method is usually more powerful, so you should base your conclusions on the results for Bonnet's method, unless the following are true. Your samples have less than 20 observations each. The distribution for one or more of the populations is extremely skewed or has heavy tails. Would you kindly consider liking and subscribing to our channel? Your support means a lot to us. Bye, see you next time.